Labadiena. So previously I made this epoxy casting and when I looked at it, it instantly reminded me of an ocean. It looks like a piece of an ocean frozen in time. I dumped the idea of making a simple stand for it and I decided to, to go with a more artistic approach. My idea is to sculpt a deep sea creature, kind of like a fish, holding this casting into its mouth. Uh, I'm thinking to stick with the angler fish appearance, but maybe in a bit less horrific look. So I have this chunk of clay and my idea is to sculpt the basic shape of the fish and then to cover it with uh, fiberglass and uh, resin. And once that shell hardens, I will remove the clay from the inside and this way I would be left with a hollow and rigid shell and I can use it to, to sculpt the rest of the fish, all the details and also I will have a place where to put all the lighting. So yeah, that's the idea. So let's try it out.
Both halves of the shell are complete and the next step is gonna be to merge these two together, like so. But before doing that, I would like to cut an opening in this one so I would be able to access the inside and install the lighting. To glue these two together, I'm gonna use automotive putty because it's also quick setting and not as runny as the polyester resin is. And when the shell will be in one piece, I will sculpt all the details using this ceramic modeling clay. As you can see, I didn't go too crazy with the details. My main goal was to create two contrasting surfaces on the sculpture. So that's why I smoothed out the belly of the fish and I left the head uh, kind of rough and textured. And also I really like, uh, liked how the, this antenna came out. I think it's possible only with fiberglass and uh, polyester resin. So, Therefore, I decided to create similar effect on these uh, two uh, knots as well. Also, I think this fish is missing one of the key features of its kind, a light on the end of its probe. So I created one. So I guess it's only a matter of attaching this one on the end of this wire. While the primer is drying, I will work on the lights. So a while ago I bought a bunch of these uh, battery powered uh, LED pucks. And I already took apart one to see what's inside. And there's not much to it. It's a battery pack with uh, some LED lights. So my idea is to create a bigger grid, a custom grid for, the, for that fish head. And transfer these lights onto that.
and it's done. I would like to quickly go through the previous steps. So for the finish, I was aiming for ancient sculpture look, kind of the one you might see on Indiana Jones movies. And I hope I got pretty close. But I had a bit of a hassle with the lighting situation, mainly because I chose to have batteries. So I created this uh, battery pack for uh, D2 type uh, batteries. And this uh, setup should last for a really long time. But once the LEDs got on top, uh, there was no easy access to the batteries once they will be done. So I decided to make this uh, whole unit removable. But it instantly created another problem that the switch and the light will have to have a separate wiring. So, so I made this uh, junction. And even though this lighting unit might not look as the cleanest work, but it will last and nobody will see it. Well, except all of you. Anyway, uh, I guess I should put this all together and see it lit. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.